are the Java Brew Collection. No one calls us that because JBC is easier to say. So we call ourselves JBC. We are in the office coffee and workplace coffee service business. And what we do is we partner up with people locally all across Canada, the United States, and we put people in the office coffee business. Okay? You end up owning chains of these machines in a variety of offices and, and workplaces. So we deal with law firms, manufacturing plants, busy hair salons, car dealerships, hotels, restaurants, you name it, we're in it. Because it's not our first rodeo. We have over 700 people currently up and running in this business right now, and we have placed, on behalf of our area operators, we've placed over 10,000 of these machines out there. And we are growing at an exponential rate right now. We'll explain this as we, as we kind of go through. The machines themselves, uh, very simply, I'm going to talk about them a little bit more as we kind of go through. The best way to describe them, it's like a Starbucks menu in a box. We do not have to use Starbucks coffee, we can actually use whatever we want, but it's like a Starbucks menu. So we do espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, hot chocolates, french vanillas, cappuccinos, lattes, over 20 different selections actually. Okay, These really become your employee, that's how I like to describe it. Two things I'm going to get out of the game. If you have a full-time job right now, or you own another business, okay, you don't need to sell that business. You don't need to quit your full-time job. Some career operators never quit their full-time jobs because you can run this business very part-time. 80% of our operators stay part-time because you can never strip your annual income very, very quickly in a business like this because this is a coffee business and we have a license to print money at about 90 miles an hour. And we'll explain that as we kind of go through. Uh, the, other, the other thing is we're not looking for salespeople, okay? You are not out there going, hi, do you want to take a coffee machine? I want to be very upfront about it. I do work for this company, but I'm also an owner-operator. I own a series of these machines in the city of Toronto. And I want to say that because I do refer to my business a little bit as we kind of go through here. First thing I'm going to talk to you about is why we're in business. After that, I'm going to destroy everyone's Starbucks experience. I'm going to show you how much money is made in the business. Then I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do and how we support you over the long term. So, why are we in business? Folks, you weren't born yesterday. I challenge anybody here. You find me a company out there that does not have a coffee machine. Everybody's got a coffee machine. Why are we in business? We're in business because employees do this. We leave. We like to go outside the office to purchase the cup of coffee that we want. Even though 80% of the clients that we deal with pay for the coffee for their staff, your employer wants you to get coffee from them. Why is that? Why do companies give coffee away for free? Your employer will tell you every day, oh, we love you. It's an employee benefit. Here's your free coffee. It's not. It's actually a control issue. It's cheaper. For every $50,000 you earn an annual salary, yeah, leave once a day. I don't know, go to Tim Hortons. You're going to cost your company a loss of productivity slightly over $1,500 a year. Let's make the problem worse. Let's show you how big the coffee industry is in this country. Almost 70% of the adult population here in Canada, yeah, we're coffee drinkers. We don't drink one cup of coffee on average per day now, do we? We all know this. Average coffee drinkers in Canada drinks 3.4 cups of coffee per day, every day, 365 days a year. So companies look at that as this is a cost, big time. And very simply, coffee is the number one consumed beverage in the workplace here in Quebec. Here's my public service announcements to you folks. Start drinking a little bit more water. Your doctor will be a lot more happier with you. But we drink way more coffee. Here's our competitors. 90% of offices are offering drip coffee. There's two machines in here. I challenge you to find this in an office place. There, and They used to be in every office place. Most companies moved over to the Keurig system. This is three times more money per cup than to run this. But companies ran into this. Why did they go to the Keurig system? Two reasons. One, it gave you as an employee a fresher cup of coffee. It also gave you more variety. And when that went into the office place, you want to know what happened? God, it worked. It, and it worked really, really well. Companies were very, very satisfied with this because you all stayed in the office. Things were all great in the world. And things started to change. And people started to leave. And you wandered out to companies like Tim Hortons and Starbucks and Timothy's, the Second Cup and Van Hood, and even McDonald's is in the game. Because specialty coffee today now outsells regular drip because the Starbucks generation is moving into the office and the workplace. Let's pick on McDonald's here for, for a second. McDonald's is not a stupid company. This is a very highly intelligent company. They do market research on everything that they do. Nine years ago, they looked at the coffee industry and they knew that they had to get into the specialty coffee 
coffee industry because it was growing into an exponential phase. This company has been so successful in the coffee industry that McDonald's today makes more money selling coffee beverages than any of their other product lines. It used to be french fries. Everyone is trying to get into the coffee business now because the profit is so high. We'll show you this. Here's the beverage industry as a whole. Coffee overwhelmingly number one. Canadians, we have an issue. We drink more coffee than we drink water. Top water's close. We keep going down here. Bottled water's there. Pop and snacks, and, or like pop, like the Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they're down at the bottom. And right at the bottom are products like Red Bull. Overwhelmingly, oh, coffee, number one, right? To the, to the point, Pepsi, Coca-Cola are in this game. They happen to spend billions of dollars to do it. Coca-Cola very happy to do it because their number one division that makes the most profit for Coca-Cola happens to be Costa Coffee. It's their coffee division. That's where they're making their money right now. It's not soft drinks. That's why these guys are in this business. Let's cut to the chase. Oh, well, actually, let's go back to this. Let's talk about your employee here. So your employee here who's out there is like a Starbucks menu in a box, right? We can use whatever product that we want. Over 20 different selections can be made off these machines at any one time. These are well-built machines. They are commercial grade pieces of equipment. They carry a five-year warranty on them. We can change all the recipes on board. We can change all the cup sizes on them. We can give people exactly in their office place exactly what they want. So now let's cut to the chase. This is why you're down here, how to make money. This is where I destroy your Starbucks experience. So you can leave if you wish. But let's show you how much money's made in the industry. And this is very, it's a simple business. Let's explain it simply. Wholesale cost, cup of coffee, stir stick sugar, milk, cream, lid, sleeve, everything that you see, depending on what it is, how big it is, this is why every single coffee company out there that you see basically prints money at about 90 miles an hour because this is what it costs us to do it. We're cheaper than chips. 70% of the adult population are coffee drinkers and you drink three, three more than three cups of the stuff every single day. This is why we do very, very well. What do we sell our coffee for? Companies like the Investors Group, Toyota, Hyundai, Mortgage Alliance, BMO are clients of ours. We charge anywhere between $1.50 to $2. So think about it. Anytime one of their employees goes visits your employee, but you're not there because your employee is serving your coffees, they go up the machine, get a cup of coffee of their choice of exactly what they want. You're earning on average $1.75 worth of profit. Here's the best part. That profit there is 100% yours. We do not take royalties from you. There are no franchise fees in this business. You do not share profits with clients. 80% of our clients pay for the coffee for the staff. No, we do not pay for electricity. No, we do pay for water. This is 100% yours, and in my case, being an area operator, that's all mine. I don't share any of them. And this ties into how we get paid. How we get paid in this business, now when the company pays for the coffee for their staff, yeah, we let our employee do the work. And there's an accounting package built in. All we do is we download the sales numbers off the machine's computer, we do up a very simple invoice, we submit to the company, they cut us a check, they e-transfer us, we're good to go. What about the other 20% of the business? Do we want to bother dealing with them? Yes, we do. Because we're now dealing with companies that deal with the general public. A great example of one, you're in one. The Palais. They're not going to give free coffee away to the general public. It doesn't make sense of their business model. So this machine will actually take its own payment. This machine can be coin operated. Our, our US operators put dollar bill acceptors on, on their machines. They get their big fat wallets with the $1 bills in it, right? On top of this, or standalone, I can run this cashless. I can take someone's Visa, MasterCard, uh, Amex, debit card, all tap and go. This machine will take your phone. It'll take, it'll take your watch, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, PayPal, and a whole host of other payment apps. Half of them, honestly, I've never even heard of. Perfect. That now allows us, if what we do as a company, we don't just deal with small companies. We deal with very, very large companies. Companies that have thousands of employees in there. We'll deal with the downtown law firm here in Montreal that say occupies five floors. We'll have a machine on every single floor. That's what we'll do, right? But let's show you the return on investment. This is the most important slide here. This is your profit. What we're gonna show you here, we're gonna keep this business really simple. We're gonna show you clients 
units, their size, that they only need one machine in there because of the number of staff that they have in there. We're going to leave the two, three, four, five out of this, okay? So let's look at them, okay? Very simply, you've got the low volume, medium volume, and high volume. A low volume account here has about 10 to 12 employees. That's it. A medium one has about 20 to 25 staff. A high volume has about 35 to 40 staff. This one and this one kind of cancel each other out. Let's talk about that in-between type of business. About 20 to 25 staff on average, they'll go through about 40 cups of coffee over a, over a, per day, over a five-day work week. Not six, not seven, right? We work a five-day work week here in Canada. That results in a profit for you around $350 over that five-day work week. That's actually a substantial amount of money, so let's look at it by year because it looks a whole lot better. That's over $18,000 a year from one account. Think about it. That's your profit. How many machines are you going to be in your area that you're going to look after? You see, when, when area operators, when they start in this business, they'll also they'll start small and they'll expand and grow. So let's say you start off with two, three, four accounts, but a couple of months goes by, we're still marketing your area, and say you're looking after eight accounts. Well, that could actually only take you four hours, okay? Let's show you how this you can do this with less. This is 90% of what you do in this business. We have to look after our employee here. We have to fill it up. Two ways we're going to do this. When the employee, uh, when, when, they, when we're going to fill up this machine and we call, talk about the full service account, you literally run this business from the passenger seat of a vehicle you already own. Folks, do not go buy a van or a truck in this business. You don't need it. We stock seven lightweight supplies. We don't walk in with 200 cups of coffee. It's much easier to walk in with 200 cups of coffee, right? Once we arrive there, we take less than five minutes. We fill up the machine. We do a little bit of customer service and we're done. I do not run my business that way. Not at all. I got this, I'm going to be very blunt with you folks, I got this business to make money. And I want to do it as efficiently as possible. I run this business very passively. My clients fill up their machines. I drop off stock to my clients, big, my big volume accounts, every two weeks. Some accounts three weeks, some accounts every four weeks. I don't dictate uh, my business running me. I run the business, and I do it that way. So I don't actually spend a whole lot of time in this business, nor, nor do you have to either. That's how simple this business actually is. Very simple business. This is our marketing system and the success of this. Look at all these well-known companies that we deal with. The marketing system's done this. I'll make note of this company down here, HBO. That's my client. I look after HBO in Toronto. I look after one of their film studios. I did not go up to HBO and knock on their door going, hi, do you want to take a coffee machine? The company did. Because that's built into the business. I have three machines at HBO. It's my largest account. Two of them empty out every single day. And that's one of the best parts about the business. You're not out there knocking on doors. The company has this built into the business to help expand and grow the business. You can get involved in this business. Our smallest program, which is a two-machine program with everything built into this business, is about $30,000. A little bit underneath that, actually. Our largest program, which is an eight-machine program with everything in, is a little bit under, under $80,000. Not only are we going to place all the machines, we provide all your equipment for you. When it comes down to the product, you can buy it from us, but you're not obligated to. You're free to put whatever product you want inside the machine. We're going to tell you all the local wholesalers or national wholesalers are. We're going to do all sorts of training programs with you as well. You know, marketing training. We're also going to do technical training. When it comes down to financing, as you expand in the business, we're going to do it at 0% to help you grow and expand that business. We also do one-on-one -on -one coaching for the lifetime of you being this business. Not for a year, for the lifetime. We work with our area operators very closely. We have a mentorship program built in this business because wouldn't it be nice to work with some experienced operators? People who have like 80 accounts, 90, 100, 200 accounts. Well, one of our best mentors actually is two hours away from here, Ed Hemphill. He's a highly successful area operator in Ottawa. He has 80 or 90 machines. It keeps changing because he's still expanding his area. He's going to be working with you alongside everything that we also are providing for you. When it comes down to like your business cards, your letterhead, your brochures, we're going to get that all for you. We're going to build your website, but what we're also going to be going to do, it's going to be Google optimized. In other words, when you put in office coffee service, you're going to be on the first page. 
This is a business in a box, folks. And when it comes down to the accounts, folks, this is your business. It's not about us, it's about you. Set yourself up in an area that makes sense to you, close to where you're living, where you're presently working along the way, and you ultimately decide which accounts that you're dealing with and which accounts you don't want to deal with. Folks, you getting into business has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. Be selfish about it. Run the business the way that makes sense to you. It's exactly what I do and every other area operator does. So run it that way. Now